Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose a Dakin fan motor using just your multimeter. So I'll show you how I do it anyway. Let's go. So to get these plugs off, you need to basically put your little prong in, bend that up, and then they'll just pull out. Obviously hard for the camera to focus on something so small but it's really simple to get them out all right so i've got them all out we're going to put the multimeter onto ohms basically if you're working on dakin this is what you do so the plug you have red and then you have a space space and then blue brown orange white so use this video when you're out on the field as a reference because you can no longer get this information using the Dakin app. Okay, so this is what you do. Basically, all you need to do is just test between the cables. So between white and blue, you should have that. Orange and blue, you should have that. Brown, blue, you should have that. And then red and blue you should have that i am not an expert by any means i'm not even trying to be like a teacher the only reason i'm doing this is because um i'm trying to make it easier for you to get this information because i don't know why but it's been removed from the dakin service app so just say save this video use it as a reference or you don't have to save it just go back to it if you ever need to on the field and you can thank me later <laughs> I'm going between blue and orange. 208.1 kilo ohms. Blue and orange needs to be over 100 kilo ohms. So that is fine. Brown and blue. 1.228 kilo ohms. Brown and blue should be. 100 ohms or more which this is on auto so that's actually 1228 ohms so that's good cool blue and white 6.68 mega ohms blue and white should be over one mega ohm so that's sweet Okay, so I want to show you this because this took me a while to learn. So hopefully this helps someone. So basically, for example, I've got, if you want to test um, red and blue, it says that you need 100 kilo ohms or more. So on the multimeter, if you just put it onto ohms, it will only go up to 6 on auto. So you actually need to change it. So I go over to kilo ohms, but it's still only going to go to 6. And you've got to press range again and go to 60. Press it again, go to 600. Because I want it to be able to go over 100. Not only that, <laughs> when you test them, what I found is you have to do it a certain way. So um, basically when you're out in the field, if you don't get a reading, turn it over and go the other way. So for example, it's so hard to do this on camera. Just bear with me. Put the red prong on the blue, the black prong the red and we get 518 kilo ohms we need to have over 100 so this this fan is officially fine there's nothing wrong with it i can reuse not that i'm going to reuse it but i could have kept it in the system um totally fine but now watch what happens if i just change the prongs over Doing the exact same thing, just changing the prongs over. 
says OL, doesn't come up with a reading. And that can confuse you when you're on the job site and you're rushed. Just basically testing these things is really easy. All you need to do, pull the plug off. It's really simple. Test them. If you don't get a reading, just swap the prongs over. Use the information that I've given you from the app and um, learn how to use your multimeter because like I'm not perfect in fact I I wasn't very good at this until I just was playing around and wondering why I wasn't getting the readings that were on the app basically you could just you need to actually read what it's doing on your multimeter but um anyway this thing's totally fine I hope this video helps somebody let me know if you do it a different way because I am not perfect but that's how I do it and yeah let me know how you go